just here to pick up my quilt. I'm so excited. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Tess and I make videos about saving money and stretching money as far as I can. And I'm super excited today because today's video is lots of bits and bobs but I'm starting with showing you my quilt which, which I've sent to the long arm quilters and I've got back today. So it's a quilt top that I made myself and um, some backing fabric that I have picked out which was an old new, new and unused but vintage bed sheet and the top of the quilt's made with kind of 1970s bed sheets as well and so I made the top, selected the backing and I've taken it to the long armers who has quilted it with a lovely pattern called Halo for me. I've laid it out on the bed and I want to show you what it looks like. Obviously there's a cat on it already. So here we go. Here's the quilt. I'm absolutely in love. The cat's having a play with her tail. <laughs> Here we go, here's the quilt. It's all made with vintage sheets. She's watching me. She's in a bit of an irritable mood, so I'll keep clear of her. <laughs> and then at the edges, I've done some half square triangles and a border with a blue and purple vintage quilt, which goes really nicely with the headboard of the bed and then this pattern that Elaine has put on for me is all these lovely circles it's called halo it needs a border um, not a border it needs binding around it so while I was picking this up I picked up some cotton fabric to put a binding on with um, it's a bit denimy and I think it works really well with the other colours and patterns in the in the quilt. I wanted to go for something plain because it is a very very busy quilt um, which I like uh, but I didn't want to add more busyness around the edge. So there we go and it's um, it fits really nicely over the top of our king size bed with just a little bit of drip down the sides. I'll show you over here as well. So it doesn't go a long way down the sides, but it goes a little way. So there we go. When I finish binding it, I'll show you it again, but I'm so happy to pick it up. Very excited to see how it had gone because I haven't ever um, paid to have my quilts quilted like this before. So I'm really happy with it though. I would definitely consider saving up and doing it again. So um, I risked life and limb and got the cat off the first quilt I showed you. Um, she's not happy with me. <laughs> and I wanted to show you this one which I've almost finished as well. Again it just needs binding. So I've shown you this one before. This was one of the ones I planned to get myself to finish within the next 12 months from November. And um, it's four big stars and a cat. And then I put a scrappy border around it and then a bigger border, floral. And then on the back I've put the iris William Morris print fabric. In the middle I've used a, well, an old wool blanket that I had a couple of holes in and I've stitched it together at this end because it wasn't quite wide enough. Just using a zigzag stitch. So there we go and let me show you what I'm going to I'm going to bind it with some of this. So this is part of the uh, duvet cover I bought in a charity shop for £2. I've used 
most of it to back one quilt which I'll show you in a moment that's almost finished as well and I'm going to use the rest as a border on this one because I think the colours will work really well. So that means I've got two quilts that just need binding now, this one and the one I've just had long arm quilted. This is the last quilt which is finished but does require a little bit more attention. So as you can see I have backed this quilt with the duvet cover that I've just mentioned and I've hand tied the quilt on this one which I've never done before it was really enjoyable to do um, but what I need to do is put some uh, fray stop on these knots just to bind the fibres of the knots together so that they can go through the wash without coming undone um, but this, this um, quilt is made entirely out of um, the top is made entirely out of three skirts I had in the 1980s when I was a student that's a shadow there so do bear with that that's not in the fabric of the quilt um, so it's um, three skirts I had when I was a student inside it I've used a quilted panel that I already had and on the back I've used the two pound duvet cover. The wool that I've used to tie it, I've used a green and a pink. They are wool, balls of wool that I already had. So um, in terms of what I've paid for this right now, this has cost about a pound. Um, the skirts were charity shop skirts and actually two of them I made myself from fabric I was given so one of them was a charity shop skirt and the other two were made by me when I was a student at Free Fabric. This one actually is a Laura Ashley misprint. Um, when I was a student I, and we're still really good friends now but I shared a house with um, a woman who lived in the town in Wales where Laura Ashley started off and they still had a factory there and misprints of fabric and wallpaper were sold to local people who wanted to go and buy it and so this pink one with the splodges on was a misprint of this fabric you can see this one hasn't got the little circles on properly these little dark circles and they're not in the, the position that they were meant to be in but I loved it. Um, she brought it home for me um, to Cardiff when I was a student and I made the skirt out of it. So loads of memories in this quilt and very, very inexpensive and I love it. So I'm very close to having finished all three of the quilts I initially showed you. But I do have a bit of a confession to make. So my challenge to myself was from the uh, from the end of November 2021 to the end of November 2022 to finish off various projects. And um, I'm almost there actually, I've done most of them now. Um, but I did tell myself there was no way I was going to start anything new until I'd finished off everything that was already made. I think you can probably work out where this is going. <laughs> So I'm going to show you now something that I've made and finished it while I've been finishing off these quilts. <laughs> so this quilt needs a bit of adjusting um, but I've made myself a crumb quilt which is hanging on the wall above the bed. Um, so I made 15, uh, what were the 12 inch square blocks using lots of tiny crumbs of fabric. So you can see there's some of the skirt fabric I was just talking about, that some of the skirt fabric and that is. This is some of the fabric that's the border on the star quilt. This is in another quilt that I made years ago. This and this and various others in the quilt on the wall are from a 
like a vintage horror fabric that I bought to make a friend a little zipper pouch to keep her makeup in. One minute, I'll show you some more. So I just bought a um, fat quarter of it, I think, or maybe half a meter at the most, and I had some of it left, and I've used it throughout this quilt, and it just makes me chuckle. I've got a werewolf and the mummy, Dracula, and up here I've got quite a big Frankenstein's monster <laughs> piece. And in the middle there, there's a Frankenstein's hand. And down here we've got a castle. But all these, for lots of these fabrics, or most of them really, I've got memories or I've had them for years. I've just had an issue though with a poor choice of binding. So I'm going to need, because it's making it all out of shape, so I'm going to have to take this off and put a new binding on it, but that's fine. Um, but this was a project that I did um, when I wasn't even supposed to be starting anything new. I really love it though. And it's great as a wall hanging. I have made it so that it can be used as a quilt. It isn't quilted, it doesn't, in, that, in the sense, no, it, isn't, it doesn't have wadding in it. I have stitched in the ditch between the blocks, the big blocks. But um, there's no wadding in it, so it's more of a throw, really. But I just thought it would be great, hung above the bed in our room. So there we go. So there are the three quilts. I'll show you them when they're completely finished. And um, tell you about the new quilts I'm planning. <laughs>